Paul Rubig, as many of you know, is a member of the European Parliament who has been incredibly supportive of our agenda and participated in numerous projects, including e-committee. He's got a strong public and private sector background, is president of STOA, and on the Committee for Industrial Research and Energy, very topical committee, no doubt. Uh, as we're running behind, I'll, I'll hand over to uh, Paul Rubig now. Welcome. Yes, hello, here's Paul Rubik from Strasbourg. Uh, can you hear me? We can hear you very well, and, and just to reassure you, you're on three large screens and in stereo sound, so it's like you're in the room. Very good. <laughs> yes, uh, very warm welcome from the European Parliament in Strasbourg. I'm present in Strasbourg at the session, and uh, we are very interested uh, on your conference because... Uh, the new commission now will be built, and uh, uh, so we will see what Nelly Gross, as new commissioner for the media uh, and digital world, uh, can uh, deliver. Uh, so in the second uh, week of uh, January, there will be the hearing with Nelly Gross. And uh, so therefore, uh, the European uh, Parliament and uh, the ITRE committee uh, is very interested in uh, this area. Uh, to give support, I am also a supplement member in the budget committee, and uh, this week in Strasbourg we decide on the budget 2010. Uh, and uh, I think that uh, the digital agenda is getting more and more uh, important. Uh, and uh, therefore, the questions of trust, of transparency, of privacy uh, is uh, on the agenda also in the scientific uh, options committee where I'm the chair, and uh, therefore I think it's very good to have uh, a conference like uh, yours. And you see it's uh, easy uh, to come from Strasbourg to Brussels uh, via uh, this wonderful uh, video conference, uh, and I would be happy if you have some questions to answer also your questions. Thank you very much. Um, can I... Th have throw out to the floor any questions that you might have in terms of where the European Parliament is, is going in the field of e-participation and citizen engagement? Questions? Richard? Well, I suppose the obvious question, since that's what's already been raised both amongst the participants but also um, by the previous speakers, is the ongoing challenge whereby many of our elected representatives, particularly those at a European level who are fearing that their legitimacy is falling as turnouts continue to decline. How can we support them to see e-participation as, as a way of helping them do their job better, strengthening their legitimacy, and sharing power and increasing the efficacy of the institution? Whereas we do know that there may be members such as yourself who are enlightened, embracing the tools, but there are all too many who feel threatened. A great, yes, great uh, question. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I think that's a very good question because European Parliament, uh, the Commission and the Council, uh, we all work uh, uh, very much on giving more information about what's going on on European level. And as you know, all political levels uh, uh, are important uh, if it's in a, a small village or if it's on the European uh, Parliament's level. Uh, and uh, the main problem is that maybe only 10% of the uh, people are really interested in uh, what's done on the political level. But I think we need a certain information and a, a, a base of information where these people have a chance to get an original uh, information, not only through press. Uh, that's the reason why we started in European Parliament uh, to uh, uh, give information through live streaming in Internet from most important committee meetings and a full live stream of uh, uh, the Parliament meeting. So our meeting, which we have now in Strasbourg, is in a live stream uh, available for everybody around the world. Uh, so you can listen to the debate from 9 o'clock in the morning till midnight. Uh, and uh, if we have committee meetings in Brussels, uh, it's also possible to be active uh, there and listen what uh, the debate uh, is. And I think these new tools... Uh, like the Parliament TV, TV which we uh, started now, uh, should give an opportunity 
uh, to go more into the detail of the political debate because uh, overall we have 20 committees in the parliament and of course we get a lot of uh, worldwide uh, whips to the parliament like we had uh, last week the inventor of the World Wild Web uh, and we have an in-depth debate uh, where uh, the policy in uh, the web area in which area it will be uh, developed uh, so what will be web 3.0, uh, what will be web 4.0 so we will have a development also in the communication and I think uh, uh, the European institution uh, should be on the leading edge. We should uh, show that <coughs> the new uh, uh, quality in, in uh, the e-communication uh, could be a big help uh, for the overall area. 